welcome to this uh, brief tutorial of how to use VLOOKUP questions to ask before you start using VLOOKUP what are you looking for where do you want Excel to search this information what should Excel return upon success we will look into this point in more detail while we are going to demonstrate this on Excel itself. The last one would be how accurate should the result be. Now if you look at this small table which I have prepared in order to explain what VLOOKUP can do for you this table has got month number month name sales made and discounts provided four columns I have numbered each column here one two three and four to make it more easy for you to understand how we look up is going to work for you now in order to fetch the month name using this month number from this table I will write a we look up here Please understand, you need to have a key value same in both the tables. For example, this table has got the month number. And this table, the one I'm going to look up in, also has got the month number inside. Now this month number will help me to fetch the name of the month corresponding to this number. Here we go is equals to VLOOKUP what should I look for I need to look up for the number where should I look I need to look up under this table remember if I do not freeze the selected area it will not give me the proper results let us see what what do I mean by that now if I put a comma I need the second column upon success first column second column so I put in two and I need the accurate results so I would select exact match so I can also write zero in place of exact match now I hit the enter see that now if I track this down see I have an error message on 2 and 1 in spite of having 1 and 2 as the key numbers I am unable to fetch the values for that particular month in order to avoid this kind of error messages and or to avoid inaccuracies in your VLOOKUP you need to freeze your VLOOKUP let us rewrite our VLOOKUP one more time equals to VLOOKUP look at this value under this table now I am going to press F4 key see here now my selection would have a dollar symbol before and after the column label now I put the comma 2 second column is what I need and I need the accurate value now I drag this down see that now I'm able to get all the results accurately let us do it one more time on sales made we look up this value that's the month number under this table remember you need to freeze freeze the selection area by pressing F4 on your keyboard insert the comma now I need to get the third column first column second column third column right from the start of the key number so I put in three zero for the accurate results hit enter done 